as nearly 1,700 people have been arrested. Khan, who was ousted last month, has called on his supporters to stage a sit-in in Islamabad to demand new elections. The government has blocked roads leading to the capital and deployed thousands of security personnel. Well, let's go live now to Kamal Haider, who's in Islamabad. Hi there, Kamal. So the marchers were very much determined despite police action. Are we still expecting to see Inram Khan arrive there this hour? Imran Khan's convoy is closing in on Islamabad. Uh, he should be able to enter the city within an hour if things move normally. Uh, his uh, people have had to struggle with berms, with glass on the highway, with containers lined up to block bridges. They've been clearing all those and moving towards Islamabad. Just a little while ago, tens of thousands of people had gathered at D Square, just a shouting distance from Parliament. I'm reporting from inside because the air is thick with tear gas outside. That, of course, dispersed thousands of people who had gathered, including women and children. There's heavy uh, police action. In fact, the police has been fighting the protesters all over Pakistan in the city of Lahore, which is the provincial capital of the Punjab, even in the city of Karachi. And although this was going to be a peaceful protest, and the fact is that Pakistan's constitution allows for freedom of speech, processions, uh, protest and movement, the government has come down very hard. The interior minister saying that Imran just had a couple of thousands of people with him. But we've been able to witness tens of thousands of people just in Islamabad and Rawalpindi. And he, of course, is also traveling with tens of thousands of people, over 2,500 vehicles. And that, of course, shows this will be a big show. He, of course, will be trying to come to D Square, which is just a shouting distance from Parliament, to make his point. This may prolong for a couple of days. And this will, of course, exert tremendous pressure on a beleaguered government that is already an alliance of nine political parties. So, indeed, a tense standoff between Imran's supporters and the security forces uh, in Karachi as well as in the Punjab, in the city of Islamabad. And all along the way, the security forces have been shelling these protesters with tear gas. They come back, they regroup after they come under attack. So that hide and seek still continuing. But Imran determined to come to Islamabad, and that, of course, will put tremendous pressure on the government here. Um, Kamal, what's the broad view of the general public? I know that you're saying that Mr Khan, of course, has plenty of support. There are thousands of people coming out and marching. But more generally across the public, do they back this fight for freedom, as Mr Khan calls it, or do they see it as an attempt to, to cause chaos? That's an excellent question. Actually, Imran's government was not doing too well on the popularity front. Uh, just a few weeks before, he was ousted by a vote of no confidence. But his popularity has skyrocketed. He has support across the country, women and children, families, ordinary people, the middle class, laborers. Uh, and so that shows that Imran's popularity has skyrocketed and that, of course, will pose a major challenge. So it is not just Imran's uh, stance uh, against the government, but also the fact that he has been able to garner the support of a wide number of people across the country. His popularity right now at an all-time high. Kamal Haider there joining us live from Islamabad. Kamal, look forward to talking to you later.